Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Donners Optic Football 5 box hybrid random team break number 4. All card ship, 5 boxes of hybrid, uh, which features that right there. The 4 red mojo parallels is what we're looking for. It's a little shorter on autographs and stuff like that, but, and of course, as always, the downtown cards are always fun to chase as well. Big thanks everyone here for getting to the action. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Congrats again to the people who won their spots in that filler break. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Snake eyes. Two times. The eyes of a snake. Left eye. Right eye. We got Taylor down to Martin. And then two times for the teams. Left eye. Right eye. No, see, I don't want to run Liverpool. It's too much pressure for the club that I love. Dallas down to the Cardinals. If if I run Chelsea into the ground, I'll be like, all right, whatever. No big deal. All right. Taylor with the Cowboys. Brian O with the Texans. Ryan with the Broncos. Matthew with the Buccaneers. Nick with the Ravens. Richard with the Packers. Ryan with the Lions. John with the Niners. George with the Bengals. Christopher with the Bears. Alan with the Giants. John with the Saints. John Bender with the Raiders, my Raiders. Simon with the Steelers. Brian O with the Seahawks. Sean with the Chiefs. Nick with the Falcons. Raymond with the Patriots. Nick with the Eagles. Steve with the Titans. Matthew with the Jags. Alvin with the Browns. Jake with the Rams. David with the Jets. Sean with the Washington football team. Mark with the Chargers. David with the Panthers. Randall with the Dolphins. Ryan with the Colts. Nick Stover with the Bills. Brian O with the Vikings. And McSubb with the Arizona football Cardinals. Let's get all that in one page. Let's sort by column B. I'm going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of a trade window while I go grab those five boxes of hybrid. Be right back. All right. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done on Thursday the 18th. Thanks for hanging with us, folks. Thanks for spending a bit of your Thursday night with us. I know a lot of people around the country stuck indoors, maybe, maybe very little power, no power, rolling blackouts, stuff like that. Hopefully everyone's being safe out there. Hang in there. Correct, yes. And Tyler, you're right. There is a standing order that, that vet commons that are named Mahomes and Tom Brady, our shipping team, will generally sort out and ship as well. Those are the only exceptions. Oh, that's right. Steve Nash coaching the Brooklyn Nets spent a, spent a second or two with, with the Lakers. All right, we're going to lead off with Terrell Lewis. There's rated rookie Jalen Hurts and Jonathan Taylor. So Jonathan Taylor for the Colts for Ryan Carlson and the Jalen Hurts. Well, with that big Wentz trade today, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, here's your QB1 nixed over. Jalen Hurts. Although I heard rumors they may take a, still take a quarterback. New coaching staff, so we'll see what they want to do. Tua Tungavailoa. Jake Luton rated rookie, Russell Wilson, Keenan Allen. Tua Tonga Vailoa. Are the Dolphins looking for a new quarterback, Randall Ness? Or will they give him a will they give him another year or two to see what they can get out of him? I think you give him a year or two. DeAndre Swift is pretty solid. There's an elite series Jordan Love for Richard S. and the Packers. Marlon Davidson Red Mojo. There's Henry Ruggs. And Clavon Chasen. And a silver Clavon, or a hollow Clavon Chasen as well. Also for the Jaguars, Matthew Shearer. All right, these red mojos are the ones that are exclusive to this hybrid set. So these are a little more especial. Especially if they're kind of an upper tier. Is Could you consider this an upper tier rookie? DeAndre Swift, mid tier rookie? DeAndre Swift, he's got some potential. Maybe maybe new coaching staff. I was never a big fan of Patricia, so maybe a new coaching staff will help unlock his potential. Yeah, Tua, Richard is saying Tua deserves at least another year. I agree. 
I mean, it's coming off a major injury and surgery, right? Then he gets his first few, first his his feet wet in his first year in the NFL. Let's give him another year, at least a solid year, maybe a little, a little bit more. Let's see what he can do. They got a good organization, good coaching staff down there. Although, what if uh, what if the Texans come knocking? You gotta at least consider that. I mean, no offense to Tua, I think he's all right, but. If the Texans are like, listen, we'll take Tua, we'll take some picks. At that point. There's Jordan Brooks, Red Mojo. And by the way, those Red Mojos are not numbered, if you're wondering. But they are exclusive to this set. There's Jordan Love, Red Mojo. Nice. There's Super Bowl champ Tom Brady for Matthew Hedges. And the Red Mojo, Jordan Love. Will he... Will he replace Aaron Rodgers someday? Goes to Richard S. and the Green Bay Packers. Those quarterback rookie cards, obviously, are the ones that carry the weight here. All right, yeah, Brian Flores did keep pulling him in, in and out, kind of using uh, Fitzpatrick like a, what did he say, like a closer in baseball? There's a hollow Cam Akers, the nice Brandon Ayuk as well. That hollow is for the Rams, Jake Odom. I like Brandon Ayuk too, right? Niners, John Wenzel with the Niners. Does Brandon Ayuk have a new quarterback throwing to him? A lot of people talking about, you know, maybe Garoppolo is out of there. A lot of question marks. I think the league calendar turns over in mid-March. So that's when like the Wentz deal will be official. And we'll see a lot of free agent action, I'm sure. Pretty exciting. NFL kind of turned its... Kind of branded itself as sort of a year-round. You can talk NFL year-round. I know card prices tend to dip a little bit in the off-season. But in terms of discussion, there's always... There's always things to discuss in the NFL year-round. I don't know if you could really say that with every other sport. Although I can talk baseball year-round. But there's stretches in baseball where there's like, it was like quiet for like a month and a half before any major move started happening. Next box, there's DeAndre Swift again. We got Andrew Thomas Blue to 179. James Morgan Red Mojo. AJ Dillon. It's Drew Brees going to has he even decided what he's gonna do? I guess I guess they'll give Winston a shot, Jameis down there. Andrew Thomas for New York, that'll be for Allen. Devin Duvernay, rated rookie hollow. T. Higgins, there you go. There's a nice red mojo. A.J. Dillon, Green Bay Packers for Richard. Hollow T. Higgins, right? I feel like he was just starting to get a little relationship with Joe Burrow going before Burrow went down. Will they restructure Ben's contract? It's all sorts of things happening. A.J. Epinesa, Tom Brady insert, and box number four. Yeah, I love baseball too, but the off season, yeah. Especially, I feel like back in the day, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just looking at this through like rose-colored lenses. But I feel like the winter meetings were always something exciting that happened every year at the winter meetings. GMs would get together at a hotel for a week, you know. And there's all these all these crazy stories during the winter meetings. You know, agents are like parading free agents through the lobby. You know, there's always something weird and wacky happening there. You know, Scott Boris has like a, a, a you know, a three ring, a five inch three ring binder of information to, to, uh, to have the stats on the latest free agent that he's trying to make a mega millionaire. 
you know? And like something would happen, like some major deal would get done. But nowadays it just doesn't happen like that anymore. At least it doesn't seem like in the last handful of years. All right, box four of five. Actually, we have a baseball break coming up next. I'm sure we'll get into it more there. More Red Mojo, Isaiah Simmons, and a Darnell Mooney autograph. Bears, that'll be for Christopher Lewis. I don't know how many times I put Darnell Mooney in a DraftKings lineup. Because he's he could he's he's a playmaker. He could rip off like fifty two yard touchdowns, you know what I mean? But you know, every every time I didn't put him in, he'd go off, and every time I put him in, he wouldn't. Van Jefferson, Ashton Davis. Mike Kosicki, Orange, Isaiah Simmons, Red Mojo, and Quint two autographs in this hybrid box? Quintez Cephas, Ryan Carlson with the Lions. Three out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo. I thought the green was out of five, but I didn't know if hybrid made that different. There's Mike Kosicki, Orange, to 199. Sometimes Panini likes to be Trixie Hobbits. Trixie, Trixie, Hobbit. Speaking of Hobbits, where's J.J. Watt going to go? Is he going to be ring chasing like Gollum to chase the one ring? Where does J.J. Watt land? I don't mind him being a Gollum. We're talking about during the football mixer. I think uh, Cleveland apparently, according to some some sports books, Cleveland is, has the lead or is the favorite. You know, but I also heard Buffalo earlier today that maybe J was that on TV today. JJ Watt and Buffalo actually ha has at least a conversation and what better than people thought. Yeah, you can go back home to Green Bay. Tyler's saying Chargers is not. That could, that could be interesting. There's Josiah DeGura, Henry Ruggs, Mythical, LaMichael Pirine. I don't know, does LaMichael Pirine's talent get unlocked by some new coaching staff? Goes to the Jets, that's a hollow for uh, David Razor and the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. There's Joe Reed, Red Mojo. Like C.D. Lamb too. For the Cowboys, Taylor. There's uh, Mekhi Becton, Red Mojo for the Jets, Clyde edwards Elaire. There's Quintez Cephas, J.K. Dobbins, Keyshawn Vaughn, D.J. Moore, and D.K. Metcalf. And there you have it, boys and girls. And that's it. That was five box. Uh, I put PYT on there for pick your team. It's not a pick your team. It's a random team break of 2020 Panini Donners Optic Football Hybrid Edition. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for joining. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.